final major project I have for my how to keep your bass boat alive is refinishing the trailer. It's going to be a big job. Uh, I did a test on the fenders. Uh, these fenders can be unbolted and taken off. And uh, I ground them down with this tool right here, a grinder with this nasty little wire brush. And it did, did a great job. And uh, I coated it with this Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. I use that as a primer. And for the final coat, I rolled on uh, this Rust-Oleum truck bed finish. And uh, I did this as kind of a test. I wanted to see how it would hold up. So I've had this on here about 3,000 miles, uh, maybe three months, 3,000 miles. So it's, it's been exposed and it's held up pretty well. So basically what I'm gonna do is strip down everything on this trailer and do the same thing. As you can see, I've got the trailer pretty well stripped. Uh, over here, I've got the, uh, the stock and the winch taken off to stand for the winch. That spare tire's gone. Not sure what to do about those reflectors. I may have to knock those off and put new ones on. You see I've got the bunks off the trailer. And fenders. I got the steps, the stainless steel steps off. And you can see I've also taken the lights out. And you can see uh, there's a lot of rust down here and I'm gonna have to be nailing with. I use a hair dryer to heat and soften the rubber casings around the inset waterproof taillights. This helped me work them out. I'm going to use the, this grinder with this wire brush attachment. I'm also going to use some hand brushes in places where I can't reach with this. Uh, I'm going to be at this for hours, so I'm not going to show every little step, but I might as well just get started, eh? I'm going to put on some safety glasses, because this stuff can get into your eyes. And away we go. To give you a better idea of the process I'm going through to refinish my boat trailer, I'm going to show you on the jack stand, which I've removed. Uh, the first thing I did was I used a cleaner. This is a Starbright Extreme Cleaner, but some kind of cleaner just to clean off the grime, whatever grease that might be on it. And then I went after it with my grinder, with the wire brush, and anything I couldn't reach, I used hand brushes uh, to get into the nooks and crannies. Now if you can see, uh, not every speck of paint has been removed and there's even a little bit of rust that was kind of ground in that I couldn't get to. So what I'm going to use for a primer coat is Rust-Oleum's Rust Reformer and they claim it instantly converts rust so it won't rust and I'm going to put my, uh, my truck bed finish over that. So I've got this pretty well shaken up already and I'm just going to coat it with this right here. Now another thing with this black base coat, uh, with this rust inhibitor, this rust reformer, is that when I lay on my truck bed finish over it, it gives it a darker, blacker appearance, which I like. All right, I've ground down and cleaned off the trail to get the rust off it. I've sprayed on a base coat of Rust-Oleum rust reformer, and now I'm gonna apply the Rust-Oleum uh, truck bed finish here. And it's really important that you stir it up really well. Uh, a lot of the ingredients that give this finish the texture you want is down in the bottom, so you have to stir it up really well. And once you get it stirred up, I'm gonna use a roller for most of this and a paintbrush to get into the areas that I can't reach with the roller. So I'm just gonna dump it in my little pan here. And get this roller of this rust uh, truck bed finish, rust-oleum truck bed finish, and we're just going to roll it on like so. I'm going to maybe do two coats, uh, try and get that first one real thin, let it dry overnight, and then get a second coat. Man, that looks good already. Holy smokes. I'm loving that. So this shouldn't take very long at all. This photo shows the textured finish of the truck bed coating. Besides it being durable, the coating conceals areas that have been blemished by rust. I decided to leave the original reflectors in place and cover them with masking tape. The grounding bolts that held the original clearance lights in place were so rusty they broke off when I removed them, as with the light on the top of the trailer's frame in this photo. I ordered four new lights at a cost of 
$43.48 from a marina. And my old trailer had uh, stainless steel step pads, and you really can't hurt them even though they're 25 years old, but they do get dull and corroded over time. So you want to bring them back and make a, put a little shine on them. And uh, what I use is just rubbing compound. Uh, here's one that I did, and here's one that I'm going to do in just a minute. And uh, you can see I didn't get it perfect, but it, it looks quite a bit better. It really looks good when you get it on the boat. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm just going to take some regular rubbing compound and a pad, and uh, we'll move in here and see how it's done. What I'm going to use to uh, brighten up this stainless steel step is just uh, turtle wax, a uh, heavy-duty rubbing compound. Got it at Walmart. You can find this at any auto shop. And I'm going to take a regular rubbing pad here. And just as I would do on a car, I'm just going to start working on it. It's, the key to this thing is just plain old elbow grease. So you want to make sure you get the angles that get in between and the design, whatever you had. Mine has this uh, diamond pattern. So I kind of run it up and down and sideways to get into every groove. And then I work around every diamond and work on it. So you can spend hours doing this and get it uh, a lot better than I'm going to do it. But I figure 15, 20 minutes on each step will get me about to where I'm willing to, to do the work to get it done. It looks good. It's really all it takes is just a little elbow grease and rubbing compound and you can bring it back pretty darn good. The chrome rims on my trailer's tires showed some rust, but I revived them with Quick Glow. My local stores didn't carry this product, so I bought it online for $14. Only a few minutes of rubbing with Quick Glow and a clean cloth made my chrome rims sparkle. The irregular shape of the trailer hitch had to be coated using a brush. Even with a brush, the truck bed coating had the desired texture and dried with no brush marks. I replaced the rusted safety chains that came with the trailer with new, heavier chains. Here's one of the rusty safety chains that I've replaced. I also replaced the rusted safety chain that connects the winch stand to the boat's bow eye. Here's the old chain. Not so good. The rim on the spare tire was so rusted, I could only revive the outer part with quick blow. I've refinished the inside of the rim with truck coating as I did with the trailer's frame. Here's my 25-year-old bass boat resting on its renewed 25-year-old trailer. The rejuvenated trailer exceeded my expectations. Here's another view that shows the trailer from a different angle. It took seven 10.25-ounce spray cans of Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer at $5.95 each at Walmart to coat my trailer. A gallon of Rust-Oleum truck bed coating at $43.97 at Walmart was enough to give my trailer two coats. My total investment was about $150. It was some of the best money I ever spent.